Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm gonna to be showing the before and after shots of getting my Color 8 Alden Shell Cordovan jumper boots from J. Crew Mirror Shine by Cobbler Sunny. So what happened to these was I was sun fading these and I had probably about 40 hours in of the fading and it was coming along really great. But then uh, some rain happened and when the rain hit these boots, it shifted the pigments around because shell doesn't retain its it's dye very easily. And so what it left was some water spots. So I'm gonna bring these into Cobbler Sunny to have him correct that. All right, so so what's this first stuff you're throwing on there? Is that a- uh... Uh, Just a neutral polish. Oh, okay, Pretty neutral polish. polish, nice. Yeah, I kinda, wanna, I kinda like putting it on. Yeah, help nourish the boots, cause I've had those for about five or six years and haven't really treated them yet, so. It probably needs something at this point. Yeah, just it down. Yeah, those water spots are, they're pretty prominent. <laughs> I wasn't, I was thinking like, oh, this will be cool, you know, it adds to the patina, but really with Shell, Shell is more of a, it's more of like a perfectionist's leather, so <laughs> I, I kind of want to, you know, get the toe burnished and get, get it looking right again, because right now it just kind of looks, I don't know. I'm just overall not not ha happy with those uh, those water splotches on the toe there. So are you gonna use the, the Saphir? Okay, Saphir. Ooh, nice, Amaral Gloss. I love Saphir products. It smells super good. It's defi definitely a pro, a pro product. That is, that is for damn sure. <laughs> Super glossy already. That's just one coat, actually. Wow, <laughs> that looks incredible. Man, I could never get it to look like that. <laughs> I've tried, and uh, I'm I'm doing something wrong. I think. Wow, that looks amazing. All right, fourth coat now. It is really looking mirror shine so far. I didn't think they could look that good. <laughs> I thought I beat them up too bad. <laughs> it tones a little darker. Mm -hmm. Normally you can use like a black polish, but for me, I kind of use like a navy blue. Oh, awesome. Um, I think it gives more like a, like a more mirror shine to it. That makes sense. And these are Angelus polish. You can use Saphir. I do use Saphir at the end though. Um, the navy blue. I used this for like the second uh, step. Okay. After the nurse gloss. I mean, you can see the difference. Wow. That is stunning. That looks so good. And I, I could actually see my uh, <laughs> my camera and me in the reflection. <laughs> so <laughs> that is crazy. I would have never thought na navy polish would have done it. But hey, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I've heard of guys using the black for the burnishing. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think navy, especially with color eight, this burgundy color so, seems to really work well with it. Man, I am impressed. And you don't want to use any uh, spray spray dyes or dyes on it unless you want to change the whole color of the shoes. For shell, I think you know being natural is the beauty. Absolutely, with shell. Yeah, you definitely want to help it retain its natural uh, luster and its natural properties. So obviously this is not going to change your, you know, the color of the leather. It right. Just, yeah, just for the show. Um, but it's not going to change, you know, it's not going to be permanent, so. Right, it won't be like a permanent change. That makes sense. And yeah, I, I was actually reading, you know, because I, I had to do research to re-dye my, uh, those green boots that I had, those Truman boots that yeah. were, that I had you resole. Yeah. Um, I had to do some research into that and I read that it's actually pretty hard to change the original pigment of leather, the, the original uh, color. Like you have to actually go out of your way to really change that. So like, yeah. like you're saying, like you could add some navy to this and on the surface it'll alter the appearance, but really it's not actually changing the original burgundy color of the shell cordovan itself. No, it's not. 
yeah so that's that's important to know because being a, being a, uh, an amateur myself it's like I, I get it into my head that everything that touches the leather is changing it and that's not necessarily true it might change it temporarily but you could get it off you know what i mean like yeah, it's, yeah 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 it's very so surface i think that was like two coasts three coasts of the um, angeles okay wow burnishing in progress and already i i can't see the uh <laughs> Already the water spots are disappearing. <laughs> These boots in particular, they're shell, but um, I just haven't treated them very much. And they're, they are kind of looking a little dingy, a little beat up. So I think this is just what they needed. Pure polish, high shine paste, wax polish. These are like made in USA. Okay. They're like natural, organic, and you could actually smell it. It smells so nice. Oh, wow. Let's awesome. Let's smell it. Oh my God. It's it's got like an orangey citrusy smell to yeah, it. Yeah, so it's like, even if you touch it with your hands, it's not harmful. It's actually really nice. Amazing. What's it called? Pure <laughs> polish, high shine paste, wax polish. And wow. they have other stuff for shell quarterings too. Yeah, I love that orange smell. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, when you're shining your shoes, like, that smells like really, really nice. Right, right. Because most of the you know, polish doesn't smell good. That's true. A lot of it doesn't. Yeah, this Angelus stuff and the the Saphir and that pure polish and there's another brand actually um, a guy there's a guy he, it's called Armstrong's All Natural but it's like a cylinder full filled with like different waxes that he makes and they smell like that they, they have that citrusy orangey smell and it's because he uses um, orange peel oil it has a different yeah, ingredients that works best for shoes not just Saphir you know that works the best. And that's where it gets into be, being more of an art than a science, too. You know, like you're saying, like you like to mix different products together yeah, to get I the did, best like, result. I, you know, I tried using them, so I'm yeah. like, uh, this is not good for that leather, you know. Interesting. Interesting. That, and that makes sense. That's what's so hard for an amateur like me to figure out, you know, because I don't have the experience or the understanding to know that sort of a thing. So like, and you could go on a blog online and like look things up, but still ultimately it's like each shoe is really different from the next and knowing what to do is hard. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why a cobbler, an expert like yourself, always the best thing to go to because I know you're not going to mess it up. <laughs> Whereas I, oh my God, I'll, I'll mess something up really bad. <laughs> like those green boots. These ago, like my, my last week, I did a video. Um, yeah testing out the gloss polish okay for the pure and then saphir and i think that um honestly the pure polish gave a little more uh shine like oh, to okay. it when you take a look at the shoes so the pure polish gives it more of a more of a gloss we're gonna use a saphir navy blue paste okay awesome these are actually more softer than the angelus so like when you touch it it's kind of like it's really soft and that's what I use the to for the finish. So even though I didn't use any burgundy type, you know, color, yeah. it still looks burgundy. It doesn't look, you know, black or at all. Like you have the burgundy color to it right right you have the burgundy undertones already yeah. and if any it's if anything it's like adding a finish adding a like a window that amplifies the burgundy tones if that makes sense so it's not so much that it's we're using pigments to enhance the color we're we're creating like a, a like a glass or a gloss window that really allows the leather to speak and to sing. I think it's singing right now. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> as far as the side, um, I use the turner polish, um, the polish. wax, okay. to give it about two coats. Um, yes. And I'm just gonna finish it up with pure polish, burgundy water, resistant cream. Ooh, awesome. That looks nice. All right, let's have a look at that. Look at that. Man, that smells so good orange peel oil the smell of citrus i love the smell of citrus in the morning <laughs> Thank you.
get a side by side. Wow. That looks amazing. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, indoor lighting is never good. Um, th that's why, like, most of my videos, I do them outside. <laughs> but yeah, that looks incredible, man. Okay. All right, so where are we at? Is this some of the Navy? Yeah, we're at uh, Navy, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Angeles. Angeles Navy. And as you can see, we've got the painter's palette here with all the different stuff we're using. So cool. Yeah, this isn't something that you learn uh, from a Reddit post. This is something that you learn from real life experience. All right, here we are, the finished version. And look at that. Is that not the most beautiful burnished toe uh, mirror shine you've ever seen? <laughs> I am impressed. Well done, sir. You are Thank the man. You, you are you. the man. Look at that. I can't even believe it. I can't wait to take these babies out, rock them with a suit now. A masterpiece. Because normally I gotta do like really a lot of buffing and stuff like that. Okay. M maybe it's because I haven't treated them. Maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe it accepted the treatment better because there wasn't, you know, residue from other products on it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I am, I'm blown away, man. Natural yeah. shine. Right, right. Totally natural. It totally goes with the aesthetic of the boot. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to rock these. 